2021 was another extraordinary year for UK government as it responded to new COVID variants and led vaccine rollouts across the UK. Our new Whitehall Monitor report looks at the impact of COVID on government last year and what difference this has made to its plans heading into 2022. For the second year in a row, spending is expected to top £1 trillion, although both spending and the deficit will be lower than they were in 2020. And coronavirus-related spending will be more targeted at public services to try to address COVID backlogs and less on direct support to households through schemes like furlough, which finished last year. The civil service continued to grow quickly throughout 2021, reaching more than 470,000 staff, a 10% increase on the year before. Having expanded continuously since 2016, the civil service is now as big as it was in 2010, before the staffing cuts made by the coalition government. The way ministers spend their time has also changed over the course of the pandemic, with the health secretary giving more speeches than usual. But last year's winner for speechmaking was the COP26 president, Alok Sharma, who gave more addresses than any other minister, including the PM, demonstrating how the government tried to turn its attention to other priorities, such as net zero, as the year went on. The uncertainty of the pandemic has led to more demand for information from government. But at the same time, the government is becoming less transparent. The proportion of freedom of information requests fully granted continues to fall. The government set out a range of plans last year, including through a multi-year spending review and a new net zero strategy. But if ministers want to achieve their priorities before the next election, the focus in 2022 needs to shift from making plans to delivering results. For this to happen, ministers cannot continue to be distracted by controversies over poor standards in government. Departments will need enough administrative resource to spend the extra money allocated to them properly. The government needs a better public workforce plan so that cuts to the civil service are made without undermining the government's capability. And progress on government reform, kick-started last year through the Declaration on Government Reform, must be accelerated in 2022.